I am honored and privileged to be running with people behind me. I have gotten to know all of them all year because we've camped out in Suffolk County a lot. And I am really honored to be running on their ticket. We make a great ticket together and that's how we're going to win, together. And let me go back to when we were thinking about whether or not we should run and we were analyzing the race. And we thought from the beginning this is going to be a race, that we could win this race. And here's how it figured out. New York City, low turnout. That's going to happen. We can get our number in New York City. Yeah. Upstate New York, which is half the vote, we're going to do well. We got polls back yesterday from Democratic districts, big Democratic districts, and we're beating Cuomo in those yeah. districts. Things are shifting quickly, as we said they would. This race was going to come down to the last two weeks, and we couldn't wait for that, because that's when things were going to get really heated up, and people were going to make up their minds. And so, when we were doing our homework, we feel, uh, feel that, and realize that, this race is going to come down to three counties. Westchester, which is two to one Democrat, and we've won it twice by 13. We'll take care of our own house. Your neighbor to the west, Nassau County, we had a rally the other night with a thousand people there and we're ready to crank out the vote. We're going to win Nassau County. And guess which county is left to win the race for governor? Right here in Suffolk County. And I couldn't ask for a better scenario because in 48 hours, Cuomo is going to get the shock of his life. Yeah. Right now, if you're watching him on TV and what he's doing, he is a panicked politician who feels it slipping through his fingers like he did 20 years ago for his father. And today, we're winning this race all over the state. Things are happening so fast. He's getting vile, he's getting vicious. He's playing from the bottom of the deck with the race card now. He's scaring seniors and women and saying we want a gun in every school. This is the nonsense that people reject. Because what people really need are jobs. What people really need yeah. are taxes to come down, yeah. electric rates to come down, yeah. opportunities for all. Opportunities para todos. That's what we need. Vamos a ganar. We're going to win this. So if you're like me and you want Common Core to go, and you want the Unsafe Act repealed? Yeah! And you want lower taxes? Yeah! And you want to raise your family on Long Island and not have to move? Yeah! Then there's only one thing you have to do on Tuesday. Vote for me and Sheriff Chris Moss and straight down the Republican ticket because that's what we're going to bring you. So I heard, you know, last night we turned the clocks back. And 20 years ago, we can turn the clocks back to what happened as well. And just in the same spot, George Pataki showed up in Suffolk County when nobody thought he could win, as Chairman Laval said. And as Chairman Garcia knows, comes down to Suffolk. And like Pataki 20 years ago, I couldn't think of a better scenario because we are going to win it. And let us win together and let it begin right here in Suffolk County. Thank you very much. Let's win this race. God bless you all. Out here on a cold, blustery afternoon, but it's telling you what one thing. 
the energy in Suffolk County, the energy in Brookhaven. And Lee and Rob, as Brookhaven goes, Suffolk goes, we will deliver as we have every time. And I'm asking you one thing. Go from here. Talk to your friends, your family, your neighbors, your co-workers. Tell them to invest in their futures and their families. Vote Republican on November 4th. Roe all the way. And we'll be back to the A-line in 2015. God bless.